So this lesson is titled From Time to Light-Based Evolution. And I want to kind of lay the, lay the foundation and paint the, the visual of what quantum is on, a, on the most grounded perspective so that you can start to apply quantum mechanics for your life. And so you're probably entering this course because you are looking for answers. You are looking for solutions. You are overwhelmed, overloaded, and uh, perhaps struggle with anxiety, stress, uh, perfectionism, uh, overthinking, people pleasing, um, or a whole host of other kind of neurotic symptoms that come from this overly saturated, uh, oversaturated reality that we live in, uh, being bombarded by marketing, advertisements, commercials, uh, and, and all, all of the things that we kind of have to deal with uh, being in a consumerist, um, capitalist culture. Uh, and because you uh, have uh, intelligence, uh, a lot of the things that we used to rely upon when it came to our survival um, are now becoming bottlenecks to our growth and transformation. So I'm really happy to share my work with you and, and explain why uh, quantum mechanics and, and looking at quantum physics will help change the way your brain processes information by understanding the information flow from a big picture perspective. So what do I mean by from time to light based evolution? To understand this, let's look at evolution in the context of, of where we've been so we can understand where we're going. So if we rewind our intelligence all the way back to more of our animal consciousness, animal consciousness being pre-identity, pre-language, pre-verbal uh, pre communication, our mode of traversing uh, a life of an animal is very much just survival of the fittest. It is making sure that all the needs are met in a very instinctual and, and low degree of intelligence and very much a, a nature-based way of, of, of living. Um, and as this intelligence evolved, as we become more intelligent with, with pictures, with language, with more communication, with tools, all of a sudden now we enter the realm of, of time and memory and remembering our past uh, and, and, and holding on to these memories of past because they have meaning, because they help a culture evolve, they help a culture become better uh, and, and, uh, and progress as a, as a civilization because now we're starting to capture history uh, and, and remember history. And this is in essence what creates uh, time-based evolution. And so if you look at it like a, uh, like a computer, like like a computer. So this is the the metaphor that I that I want to use because most people understand or, or are aware of quantum as computing as technology. But in the in the course of this course, I will be applying the the metaphor of technology with my work on imagination technology to give a very precise metaphor to take into your brain into your consciousness to help you with what you are struggling or suffering with uh, from, from a quantum level. So when we understand evolution in terms of time, 
we can now understand the leaps, the evolutionary leaps that has led us to where we're at today, all the way from animals to, um, to Homo sapiens to uh, tools and in industry revolutions to uh, Einstein with his general theory of relativity, which really made space and time very uh, singular in the sense of, of allowing us to grasp more of what time was in a relative sense uh, to the technological revolution. We see evolution getting shorter and shorter and shorter from millions of years, like, you know, <laughs> dinosaurs till uh, some early animals as, as a million of millions of years gap to animals to early homo sapiens like cave cave cavemen uh all the way to when we got tools and technology um and if you've ever seen 2001 a space odyssey how tools really helped leap evolutionary leap the species because now we we understood how to like really take control of the environment and 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 uh and become more dominion over other lower intelligence animals that didn't have language and now language starts to come up and from there as industry and technology rev re revolutionizes culture now all of a sudden the time between leaps is getting shorter and shorter and the, the paradigm shifts because from going from millions to hundreds of thousands to thousands in terms of the the marks of our leaps now it's getting with, with technology if you remember technology 20 years ago 10 years ago five years ago so going so 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 faster we've uh, accelerated so dramatically now now we're getting closer and closer and closer to what i call light-based evolution so instead of being in time what it means to be quantum is to go to the light going into the light going into a light beam so we go from time time being the the barometer for these leaps going to do, 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 do closer 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 to the present moment where evolution is no longer Evol evolving over time for change, change over time, but now co it's coming into conscious evolution, which is we have a conscious choice of our own evolution now, moment to moment, which is going from time to light. And the parallel, the the uh, the the perspective on this, the mere perspective, the reflection on this, is how we go from a computer being a binary based system where we see the energy, the light going through a computer to handle processing, to actually zooming in and becoming the light beam itself, so that we can consciously choose new possibilities. And so this is just an overarching kind of understanding of what we're moving from in our in old evolutionary paradigm to where we're moving into uh, with quantum-based evolution and light-based uh, a light-based perspective of self-realization, self-awareness, self-transformation, and everything that we're going to learn in this course to apply. Uh, to very tangible transformations in our life. So I'll see you in the next lesson.